Hello my brothers and sisters in nerdiness, welcome back to the spider's web and in this video we're going to be painting these dinosaurs. These are ones that we painted or we put together in uh, some shorts a while back. Um, it was a couple of months ago and I've uh, finally got around to painting them. Now in this video I'm not going to be painting, I'm not going to be talking in depth about how I paint these. Um, but these, uh, these dinosaurs are the Mesozoic creatures set from uh, Tamiya and there are a couple of baby variants of um, the dinosaurs in this like the T-Rex which is the one I'm painting now and the Parasaurolophus. I'm so proud of myself for being able to say that first time <laughs> yeah I've, I struggle with saying that every time I say it and I'll point out which one that is when we come around to painting it um, so that's the oviraptor um yeah so um at the end of the video you will actually see which ones these are because i'm going to put pictures up of the finished miniatures and uh i'll have the name written over the top of them or underneath them or outside of them or wherever i could fit them so you know which dinosaur is which so as you can see from the top right hand corner of the screen the army um, painting logo that's the parasaurus office I struggle with that one then, but that's the one. Anyway, um, you will see the <laughs> the Ermi Painter logo, and that basically is to say that the paints that I'm using when this logo is shown are ones that they have sent me free of charge to use, which is the Airbrush set. Now I've used these for this mint for these models in this video for the second time. The first time I used these was with the um, Stegosaurus that I painted in a, the previous video to this one. Um, I'm not saying the last one or whatever. It's, it's the last one I released before this one anyway. Uh, so if you'd like to see that one, uh, I will leave a link in the description. Anyway. The Army Painter sent me these paints, and as I said, this is the second time I've used them, and I thought I'd better talk about my experiences with them. Well, where do I start? Um, I will start at the very beginning. I got my airbrush in 2000 for my birthday. Sorry, not 2000, 2020 for my birthday. Um, I Ali got me a compressor, an airbrush, basically the whole kit near enough. It was one of the cheaper kits well, no, no it's a medium range kit uh it had a compressor two possibly three airbrushes with it and a few other bits and pieces and i started using it really enjoyed using it but i'm not an expert yet um, but i was having issues with cloggage and um, the nozzles kept clogging up and it wasn't um spraying properly um, and it turns out that the airbrush compressor that I had wasn't very good. So I've upgraded my airbrush, or upgraded my compressor. Um, in time, I'll probably upgrade my airbrushes as well. But as it's for now, these are okay for me. Um, so I've upgraded that, but I have been having issues with it uh, overheating and cutting out. Um, and I've comes to the conclusion it's because I've had it surrounded on three sides um, the way I'd, I'd built some shelving units and it was surrounded on three sides so I thought I'll pull it out give it some more air uh, and see if that helps um, so as I say from a basic standpoint I have a lot to learn about airbrushing but these paints these beautiful beautiful paints the colors are lovely they match perfectly with the other sets the leather brown looks like the leather brown in the normal paints um everything seems to match really well um another good thing about these paints you don't need thinner I've not touched thinner with these um, in this video at all. Not, no flow improver, no thinner, nothing. You're just seeing it straight out of the bottle into the airbrush spray. 
and there go on a treat. They are nice and thin. The thinner than Vallejo uh, modeler, I can tell you that now, because you do need a little bit of thinner for that. Um, but oh, these are really nice paints. They're very, very watery. Um, using the one of palettes, you can see the difference between the airbrush paints and the normal paints, how thick the normal paints are. Um, but then again, with the normal paints, you have to use a damp brush, you have to use a wet palette, um, lubricate the paint so it glides better. This one, you can go straight in with a dry brush and paint away like there's nobody's business, or straight out of the airbrush like I've said already. So yes, if you are an airbrush user and you've not tried the Army Painter airbrush lines, um, give them a go. Even if you just get one or two paints, just give them a go, see what you think of them. I like them. They are, for me, a much nicer paint than the Vallejo Modeler. Um, saying that though, I use them for a total, I'd use them in a totally different way. These are much brighter colours. They are for minis and gaming rather than scale models. Um, so the, the colours are more vivid, the less, um, the modeler colours are more drab because they're used for military, um, military painting, that kind of thing where you don't want the bright colours. Um, but there are, there are bright colours in it. The reds, the yellows, really lovely colours, but not as vivid as these ones. And the um, what's my what am I trying to say? There's one um, paint in this, and I cannot for the life remember what it's called. It's a lovely greenish colour paint. That's it, Elemental Bolt. <laughs> That's spooky. Um, <laughs> It's a few days since I actually painted these before I did the narration, so I've not actually, I've edited the video and I've not actually realised where the paints were and where I was in the video, but um, yeah, Elemental Bolt, that is so vivid. And I want to apologise um, in this part as well. I do go off camera. I had to stop the camera for a while because I needed, or somebody phoned me up, so I needed to take the phone call. And I hadn't noticed I'd knocked the camera to one side. And I just carried on straight away afterwards. Um, so I do apologise for this. All you're going to see is the models on the left-hand side of the screen, my hand on the right, and you're not going to see what I'm doing. But, you know, I can... You, you'll see how it looks. But the... Um, yeah, as I said, the colours are lovely and vivid. They go on smoothly. There's no, I've not found any spluttering or anything, except when I made a mistake on something. Um, and yes, I'm really, really happy with them. And I will recommend them to anybody who is interested in air paints, air brushing. Um, and not just because they sent me free of charge. If I didn't like them, I would tell you I didn't like them. But by God, I love these paints. <laughs> Now, obviously there may be other paints out there that do a better job. I've not tried every other paint. I've tried Games Workshop paints. You know, the Citadel colours. I've come away from them and I'm using... And I went on to Army Painter. The normal paints. I was really happy with them. Um, I've tried the Vallejo um, airbrush paints. I was happy with them for what I was using them for. But now with getting these... Oh, I will definitely be getting some more. <laughs> um, I don't think I, I really don't think I've got all the colours. If I have, then fair enough. I don't think I have though. Um, I think it's a medium box, a med the medium set that he sent me. Um, I don't think I've got all the colours, so I will be looking out for more colours. And as I say, if you like airbrushing and you've not tried these, give them a go. Unless, of course, you've found something that you you know really suits you but if you're trying different paints out yeah i would i would go to these they're very very simple to use and uh i said the colors oh really nice now 
I want to explain a little bit of why I'm doing this video the way I've done this video, painting them all at once. I had a plan at the beginning of the week. I wanted to make a diorama for my granddaughter. She loves dinosaurs. And I just haven't had time to get it done. Um, we're going away tomorrow for a week. We're going to Cornwall. And um, we this I'm saying tomorrow. This will be going out and we will be in Cornwall. It'll be our first night in Cornwall. Um, so we will have travelled down the today because it's the uh, 2nd of September um, so we'll be travelling down there today and we're coming back next week so the next time I'll be able to get doing anything with these will be obviously when I get back so there will be videos of me making up a diorama um, I may use all of these dinosaurs I may not I don't know yet I've not decided um, but if I use them all with the crocodile, I think I'm going to have to get some resin. That'll be a first thing for me. So, there we are. <laughs> all right. Um, so, I need to be planning on what kind of layout that I want for the diorama. Now, with this diorama, I will be using some of the uh, items from the um, Dungeons and Caverns. Is it? Is that what it is? Uh, the army painter, um, the other army painter set that they sent me out at the same time, the ter uh, terrain making set. I'm sure it's Dungeons and Caverns. Um, and I will be using some of those. Anyway, whatever it's called, I can't for the life remember off the top of my head. Um, but I will be using some of those um, pieces in there. Um, I will also, hopefully, if I decide to use the crocodile, or the crocodilia rather um i will be using um possibly use some resin in that as well um and you do realize that these things um actually come all come from ireland and um, they originate in ireland the um alligators caiman um that kind of thing yes they're all from the o'doyle family croc o'doyle <sighs> i've used that joke before i do apologize it's bad but yeah, it's one of those things. <laughs> it's a joke I really like. It's silly, so I do like it. Um, so now we're going over to um, the normal um, army painter paints. And I get part way through this and then realise that um, there is an issue and I've lost the ability to record. Um, <laughs> you'll know when that bit comes up. Um, but we're not using our brushes anymore. We are using brushes and we're just putting little markings on, um, emphasizing some areas, some creases, that kind of thing. And basically just doing the finishing touches with these models. So uh, we're coming up to this part where we have the little bits of um, a shutdown. So uh, here we go. And we're back. Um, <clears throat> I've changed camera angle because it's been, I think, a day. Um, I didn't do this straight away. I did this like a, a day after. Um, and we're going to be carrying on with bleach bone. Um, here we're going to be um, doing the teeth on some of the dinosaurs. And uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I've must have as i was setting the camera up i must have zoomed out because i thought i'd zoomed in rather than zoomed out so you could see what it was but as i said when we come round to doing these um or doing the other set i will do these in a much more uh detailed way i'm just showing you these being painted and talking about the paints um but now we've gone off the airbrush paints i can just talk about uh what i'm doing and why and uh, as i say i'm just picking out details here there's some little raised areas and ridges on the side of the t-rex here that i'm just picking out um it just adds a little more color and a little more variation in the skin tone and <coughs> 
I will also be doing the same with the crocodile, doing the teeth. As you can see here, he's got his uh, mouth wide open, ready for attack. So, as I say, I have got this idea that I wanted to do something where the crocodile's just coming out of the water, ready to attack one of these other ones. And you've got a T-Rex coming out of trees or whatever in the background to do the same thing, or possibly even to just a, get a drink in the river. I don't know. Um... So we'll sort something out. <laughs> I haven't planned anything for it, so I'm just going to wing it at the moment, trying to trying to think of how I'm going to do this. Um, but hopefully, when I get back, I can get cracking with it, and uh, I will let you know what uh, my granddaughter thinks of it when uh, I give it a once it's finished. So here again, uh, using the normal um, painter paints you need to make them wet um, I did use actually some of the airbrush paints the Encarm the is it Encarmine red there that was one of the airbrush paints um, yeah and it went on the brush really nicely and what you call it you know it, it paints on quite nicely as well it's already pre thin so I don't need to thin it anymore it is quite watery um, and you can build up the um, opacity of it as you go with the brush with layer upon layer upon layer or you can just leave it as is um, and here again I'm picking out different areas with the black uh, which is the normal um, I'm a painter matte black paint and it's heavily watered down as you can see but I've really enjoyed using these paints <laughs> I, ca I can't say this enough it's been an absolute pleasure with this airbrush using these paints um, now I know some people aren't too keen on any painter paints but those people have probably used different paints and a lot more uh, makes of paints than I have um, but as I say, I've found a paint that I like. I stick into it basically. Um, it's just a, I'd like to see some more, um, like the model color range. Um, if um, they would do something like that, but I know they tend to be more for um, gaming rather than models. But army painter, you know, military vehicles, military model kits. You know, it's not too far out of the name. Um, so they could st still be on brand if they did it. It would be nice. But I don't know whether they're just leaving it to uh, Vallejo to do that or not. But as I say, you could always use some of the paints for those sorts of things. But having like a, mil a model uh, range would be good as well, I think. So people can pick and choose which sets they want. Hmm. <laughs> but um, we are coming to the end or coming close to the end of the video now um, there's not much more left to do as I said we're just touching up details um, picking out uh, markings that kind of thing um, putting shadows and whatever where they need to go and uh, if you've enjoyed this video then please subscribe and like the video as well um, it would help I suppose um, also if you do subscribe don't forget to click the bell so you get notified of any future videos as they get uploaded and if you'd like to help financially with the channel you can always go over to patreon and become a patron there and if you're not with Patreon, but you've signed up with Buy Me A Coffee, you could do that as well. The links, if you haven't done either, are in the description. And, as I say, it's... Oh, you're going to see these models right at the end, fairly close up, so you can see how it looks. But, what we're going to do now is get some of the amber skin. This is part of the um, skin tone set that they released a while ago. I bought this myself. It's not one they sent me. 
and I'm just going to do a dry brush over just to pick out highlights and put the shadows and on the other colours, push them back a bit more and make it look a little more natural. And uh, we do that with a few of the bigger ones. We're not, do it, not bothered with all of them. But that is about it for this video. As I say, photographs of each of the models will be um, shown at the end of the video. And uh, that is about it. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Until next time, as always, stay safe and take care. God bless and bye for now.